Hello everybody, welcome back to the Replay Mod Academy. It has definitely been a minute, but we are back. And today we are talking about perspectives. But before we start, if you haven't watched my previous episode on position and time keyframes, please make sure to go back and watch that. The link will be in the top right hand corner because this video will be very difficult to follow if you don't have a firm understanding of those concepts. But assuming you're all caught up, let's get into it. So I'm going to show you two replays here, one after the other, and I want you to tell me which one you think looks better. Now there is no right or wrong answer, but one of them definitely has more of a dramatic view because we are using different perspectives and camera angles to dramatize our builds. Both of those replays had the exact same position and time keyframes as well as the same build, but using zoom and rotation we were able to dramatically impact how the video was perceived. The second one kills a bunch of the dead space and puts more of an emphasis on the build, whereas the first one shows a lot more of the surroundings. Like said, there's no right or wrong answer for how to do this, but if you like the second one better, let me show you how to do it. Alright, so we're going to use some footage that I already have from my Pleasant Craft series of my starter town here, and we're going to do a cinematic view of, let's say, this house right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop a few keyframes here to get started. Alright, I dropped a quick 10 second video here, which looks something like this for the base. So just a basic zoom up from the ocean going to the house. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and frame it a little better so that we have more of an emphasis on this house. All right, let's back this keyframe up to, let's say here, and let's say we wanted to have a little bit more of a zoom on the house. We actually just do that with a vanilla setting. So if we go to the escape menu and to options, all we have to do is adjust the field of view. So we're gonna zoom it in. I usually like to go to about 50%, but you can go more or less if you'd like. Now we'll just adjust the frame a little bit to let's say there, and we'll fix the first frame as well, angle it up a little bit more. And all of a sudden, this is our new replay. It's a lot smoother I find when you have it zoomed in because you're moving a lot less. But yeah, that's how you zoom in or out on replays, just with the field of view. Something else that's important to mention is that the zoom is applied to the game, not to the keyframe. So if I were to switch this back to normal, so 7, and then click on this keyframe here, you'll notice that I'm still at a 70% zoom rather than a 50. So you can only have one zoom in your replay. It's basically all or nothing. You can't have a 70% zoom on this one and a 50% zoom on this one. You have to have 50 on both or 70 on both. Now let's add a lot more of a dramatic angle on this by doing some rotation stuff. So to do rotations in replay, you press J and L. So L will pan you right and L will pan you left. Now you're going to have to play around with this to decide how you want to have it, but I'm going to go with an angle kind of like this for my first frame. And if we play it back now, we still have a pretty good pan, I think. And for the second frame, I don't want it as tilted. We'll just give it a little bit of a tilt like this. And now if we play it back, it's a lot more dramatic coming out of the ocean towards the house. I really like how this looks. Not everyone's going to, but if this is for you, that's how you do it. J and L on the keyboard. And also as a little side note, if you want to get rid of all of these messages right here, just press F3 and D at the same time and that'll clear your chat menu. Now let's say you decided you didn't like this tilt at some point and you wanted to just reset it to its default. Go to the replay options here and just hit reset tilt on the camera. Or as you can see right here, you can press K. Also an important side note, unlike with the zoom, the tilt is applied to the specific keyframe. So if I were to reset the tilt on this one and then I click on the keyframe, it'll retilt my camera. So if you want to reset the tilt, reset it and then get rid of your keyframe and then add a new one. That way you can have that new tilt on your keyframe. Now you may also end up in a situation where you want to just tilt a little bit more than you already have, but hitting the buttons does too much of a tilt for your liking. Now how you get around this is something I actually showed you in the last replay tutorial. So if you go up here and you double click on your position keyframe, it'll give you access to all the raw numbers. So if you go to the camera roll over here, and let's say we want to do a slight adjustment from 5 to 8, then we hit save, we can see this is our original zoom, not zoom, tilt, and this is our new tilt. I cannot overstate the value of being able to access these numbers for very slight adjustments. It has saved my butt more than once. So if we slap some shaders on and render our video, we get something like this. This is our original, which is going to be better for time lapses in my opinion, but the tilts can still be good for time lapses. Now if we move on to our second one, this is our video after we've applied the tilts and the zooms and everything. I think that is much smoother and I think it's a lot better for cinematics. 
Now, of course, that's all subject to opinion, but that is mine. Anyways, that's the lowdown on perspectives, zooms, tilts, and whatnot, and I hope that you guys find a good way to use those in your replays going forward. I definitely use them all the time for a variety of different situations, which you can see in my Let's Play videos for both my Hardcore and my Pleasant Craft series, if you're interested. But I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like on it, and if you want to make sure you're up to date with all my content, including Replay Mod Academy and Let's Play, make sure you subscribe too. But that's all for today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.